You are watching Excess LaPorte County, Channel 97. Coming up next is the October 4th, 2023 meeting of the LaPorte County Election Board Public Test. You can find more information for this meeting by visiting www.accesslaportecounty.org. Call to order, the Port County Election Board. Uh, my name is Roy Morgan. I'm sitting in for Brody Schaffner as his proxy. Uh, I have Heather Stevens next to me and Daryl Morton. Yeah, sitting in for proxy for James McCulka. James McCulka. Okay, thank you for the name. Sorry. It's okay. Okay, we have uh, new business. We're going to be doing the approval of the mobile voting unit schedule and change vote center name of a rise and shine to Garfield Street Vote Center in Michigan City. Um, any other new business we need to discuss? Anything like that? No? No, that's it. Um, I did send, I sent out the mobile voting unit schedule to both party chairs um, along with the, with, with Brody Schaffner and Jim McCalka. Um, about a week ago just to say, hey, do you see anything that needs to be changed? I didn't get anything back. You guys have had a copy to look over, so. And I'll give my copy to Brody also, so. Just in case he didn't get it. Okay, okay. So I would make a motion to approve the mobile voting unit schedule for the 2023 municipal Second. general. And I'll second it. Perfect. All in favor? Aye. 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 Uh, the reason for the, the name change of the Arise and Shine Vote Center if you Google, if you Google Rise and Shine, it comes up as something else. And then if you go there, it says something else on the building. If you enter the address, it comes up with a totally different name. So we said, okay, let's just change this to the Garfield Street Vote Center. And Makes that way we can just put the correct address on and everyone will know where they're going. Makes sense. Helps, helps the voters out. Yeah. So I would make a motion to approve that change. Second. And agree. Okay. Favor? Aye. Aye. Passes. All right, and now I think we are ready for the public test. So we will get that rolling. Silence that phone. Do we need to explain the process for the for the camera or no? Yeah, we can do that. So we do this every, we do this before every election. Um, basically, Dan is here from Microvote. We are we're just going to go through our voting machines to do a test to make sure that when we push a candidate's button, that they get credit for that vote. And then Dan will do a tally at the end to make sure. So, you guys have any questions? Okay. Well, I guess are we voting? How are we voting on it? Because there's multiple candidates. We can't just push every every right. Day, right? Right. So what will happen? I have. A candidate list okay for each of you so what we'll do is the first time you go through you'll just want to do the top one gotcha mm -hmm. right right here it says vote for three I would do the first three then do the second three the next time okay. so we'll just make sure everybody gets a vote it does look a little bit different this year because now obviously we're a vote center county rather than voting by precinct so Every ballot is on every machine. So that is definitely different than in the past. Uh, the one thing I definitely want to focus on, and I'll do that one myself, is MC2, and that's because part of MC2 is in Ward 1, and part of MC2 is in Ward 3. So I just want to make sure that it's coming up properly on the ballot. So we'll pick right to it. Can we do every thing for increasement? Well, I would start with whatever. Okay. okay, so you can see right here, it does say I hit MC2 and it's showing me MC Ward 1 and MC Ward 3. So then the judge on, a, on that day will go over and they will select which ward you're in. You ready? And now we're ready to take a look. Okay. Yes. Okay. 
All right, so I'm going to go through. So I know which press to press. Okay. I'm going to go to the next page. Right. Yeah, I started with one. And then we I think we're going to do all these Joseph off. Nelson. I'm going to confirm the vote. Next page. And then I just put a yeah. next to everything. And what would council at large be under for precinct? At large is going to be on every precinct's ballot. And then you'll vote for, for Michigan City, I believe it's three of them. Okay, now I already started. And so long. Okay, so now I'm going to check the other ballot for MC2, and I'll do work one. Yes. Is that a better? Yeah, okay. And you do have your three, your three straight ticket parties. And we do every one of them, right? Yes. Every ward. Yeah. Sure. So. Page. And that is correct. No, it's all the same. I'm just like going down. Well, it's all MC. And then you push the big red button. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, you're fine. You could take one of these and it would give you the actual names right down the line. Yes. And mark off. You want me to do it that and way? That's up to you. I just okay. thought of it. Because this is giving you everybody that's on that machine that's here. Okay. So if you follow along, because you'll know yeah. which precinct to grab. Perfect. Okay, so I have to do C2 again. Ward 1. And then so I need 2, so I need to 3. MC2 again. So we're just going right back in the same one. Are we just voting for one of these? We wrote You can randomly pick a couple if you'd like. Okay. okay, so I've gone through every candidate for MC2. Yeah, I'm going to get MC2. Hold on. Yeah. Okay, so that's Ward 1. Okay. Take a second look and make sure that MC2 Ward 3 was correct. Ward 3. pick second ward, it pops up with ward one or ward three. Sorry? You pick the second Correct, ward. Correct, because that is a split precinct. Okay, so how would I vote for the second ward? Well, sorry, where would the uh, where would these candidates be? That's what I was just looking at. On the Long Beach ballot. It was like nine. Okay. So if you are in Long Beach, and I'm sure we're going to get questions about this. Long Beach. 
Um, if you're in Long Beach and you select, the Long Beach ballot is selected. Oh, I haven't checked with these people. <laughs> um, I took the card out, it'll pop up. You're going to see that you can only vote a straight ticket for the Republican Party, and I actually contacted Microvote about that to find out why. And it is because, if you take a look, there's, there's no candidate for anything other than at large, which you can't push a straight party ticket for. So that's why. So I'm sure we're going to get some calls about that. So I just wanted to state it right away. That is why. Because as soon as it was brought to my attention by Taylor, I immediately contacted Microvote and said, whoa, 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 what's going on? And this, this is why. And I did explain that in an email to both party chairs, mm -hmm. um, along with the, the other two members of the election board. So that's what that's about. Okay. Okay. All right. Anything else noteworthy? Uh, no, not yet. Okay. <laughs> so MC8 is also Ward 2, and all of these should be receiving their votes. And there they are. And I'm going to do it again to make sure that the other candidate gets their vote. But I think like when I just went higher up, there were other names like on the next page. Okay. There were names I hadn't picked yet. That's wrong. Except I just picked it. So. Alright, so we need word three. I'm going to select MC12. And you guys can always ask which precinct you're in when you appear to vote and make sure that your ballot matches the precinct that you're in. That's always, it's always better to have more eyes on that. So double check your ballot. So we have ballots available at every, at every vote center, at every early voting location. Make sure that what, what's being pulled up on this machine is what should be on your ballot. So take a minute and take a look at that thing. Third ward for Michigan City was what? Uh, third ward, um, you do, do MC10. Fourth Ward. Fourth Ward, MC 13. And I'll do 14. Mm -hmm. And that is correct. Fifth. Fifth. Uh, MC sixteen. Careful, you cheat for this. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what about sixth ward, Heather? Uh, sixth ward. Did you say sixteen? No, there's. Twenty-two. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> that looked like a. I don't know what that looked like, but it wasn't a six. <laughs> what ward are you? What precinct were you doing, Daryl? MC six. Nine and white. Mm -hmm. I want to, but I want to look at it. and I want to explain it to anybody <coughs> okay. that's watching this. So MC6 is Ward 2. Okay. That's why. Okay. And if you look, 
Ward two is John Haynes and Daisy Lee. Okay. So what what precinct were you doing? Uh, Michigan City County Council Second Ward in sense. Okay. So what precinct did you have up on I pushed MC two. Yeah, MC two is a is a split precinct. Okay. So the precinct is MC two, but they're in wards one and three. Okay. They're so, split between one and three. So, so if you want to look at John Haynes and Daisy Lee. Okay. Then you want to select try MC seven because that is ward two. Which is the MC five on your list. That's what I just took a second look at over here because I was like, wait a minute. It's kind of confusing. But so, it, yeah. it is because the precinct names and then the ward names and things get jumbled and yeah. And I see on the few where if you hit a certain party, you still got to vote at large. Yes. 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 So if you are, if you're voting a straight ticket, that will not vote for your at large candidates. You have to go through and select those on your own. The sixth word, please. Um, MC, wasn't that 22? 23. It was 22 and 23. Okay. Okay. <laughs> 23. <coughs> Is everybody doing Michigan City? I don't know. I'm on the port. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I'm all, I'm all over. Okay. Good. Sure. Will every machine have a BB pad for me to No. Every vote center will have a VV pad available. So even if there's four machines or six machines, at least one of those will have a VV pad attached. Just so that people can get used to it and become familiar. And the same with the poll workers. Okay. They can get familiar with it. Um, board member comments? You have anything, Daryl? No. Uh, Dan is tallying everything right now and hopefully all is well um, with the machines and if there's an issue, we'll be right back. <laughs> so, um, but I'm, I'm pretty confident. Dan's been doing this a while, so I'm, I'm sure everything's fine. We'll wait for the... Uh, Alan, he's got that up there if you want to check out the VB pack. We'll wait for the final and then we'll get your right. Yeah. Okay. So... I will take the opportunity, Kevin, to say that we're getting a lot of phone calls and have been since the minute I took office, um, basically stating that, and, it, and it's majority of it is, is a certain group, but stating that they know that our machines are secretly connected to the internet. <sighs> our machines are not connected to the internet. These voting machines are not connected to the internet. The tabulator is not connected to the internet. The only thing connected Ever. to the internet is the poll book. That's it. And then I heard, oh my gosh, you put our voter registration information online. No, it's been there for years, probably decades. You just weren't aware of it. So these are safe. It's a safe way to vote. And it's how we vote. So I just want to make that as clear as I possibly can, these are not connected to the internet. There's a lot of cords and a lot of wires, but nothing, <laughs> nothing internet related. Just doing the final tally, and then I'll have that. If they want to see that, we'll tell you get that done. Well, we have to sign that, that part anyway, right? right? Normally, you do. Yeah, that the tally report that I'll print out that has the machines and the test deck, and I ran that test deck already, so I got to just read these since cards in. Since it's public record, let's wait to sign. Yeah, it. we'll wait. Yep. It's the the voting machine, the VV patch, all of that's going to be right there. Since it has to go one per every machine. Yeah. So if we have you know, 10, 10 machines at a vote center, 
That's ten of these things, and they're heavy. Yep. It's heavy with nothing in it. So they're they're heavy. They're awkward. Um, <laughs> hard in the mess in here. It's election time. But yeah, this this is so now the biggest challenge for the county election board right now is how are we going to deliver all this to these vote centers? <laughs> so and we'll we'll get it figured out. We've got got a couple weeks yet, but they'll get there some way somehow. So those are the electronic poll books, which are fantastic. This is... Instead of having to scroll through and find a name? Well, yes, and we never could have gone to vote centers without those, because it's not feasible to do a, a paper poll book for every precinct in the county to put at every location. That's just not, it's not feasible. So... I can see why it changed. Yes. <laughs> So yeah, that's what these are. Thanks, and again, just that is heavy and awkward. So thank you. Maybe it'll all fit in here. Yeah. Is this gonna be big enough? For to put all these tapes in? Um well you'll have your tapes? Just the tapes? Yeah, well just the tapes. Yeah, well, yeah. Just the tapes. What else was if you're going to put all because you'll put your form, a copy of your form. My test check, which I did not give you that, okay. are in there. But and I can put a lot of that into the and a full sheet binder. Those reports will be a full sheet if you want to fold and stick them there. Or get a larger size. I'll put those in the binder. Oh, okay. Did I, I oh. gave you those, right? Yes. Yes, you did. So, this is the test deck that we create to give everyone in the absentee column a vote. <coughs> and I ran that while you guys were voting. All right. So we're going to put one copy here. And we'll take one back. Right there. So folks, I'll have to send it to the state. I don't know, maybe this isn't going to be big enough. <laughs> but these I can put it back. And then we'll stick this whole thing in the... You got the one from underneath? Yes, it should be all in. Thank you. Go ahead. Well, I think we're uh, yeah. yeah, you want to wrap it up? Yeah. Okay. Um, with the test being completed, everything's passed. Paperwork's done. Signatures done. Sure. Um, ready to adjourn. Can I get a motion? Yeah. I'll make a motion to adjourn the meeting. I'll second that. Thank both of you for helping out today. Okay. It's appreciated. Turn. Thank you.